Well, welcome back to another video. I never really even told anybody this, but as you can see behind me, my car has been painted white. Last year, during my two weeks of annual training in the Guard, someone decided to steal my car, which I'm pretty sure it was the trashy neighbors I had. So that sort of sums up why we say ghetto sweet home. I obviously don't live in the best neighborhood, the houses look like crap, and the people are just typically pretty ghetto. To go over a little bit of backstory with the uh, neighbors, that used to live here, they don't anymore. They were absolute trash. They were shooting the houses with paintballs, you know, just, I mean, obliterating everything. Just didn't care, they were renting the house, so, you know, obviously just trash. Anyways, um, I've called the cops on them quite a few times. Obviously they didn't like that, and that's why I'm pretty sure it was them. As soon as they moved out, I went on my two weeks and came back. Well, I didn't quite get back yet. Got a phone call and Heidi told me that my car was gone. As you can imagine, I was lost of words pretty much. Had no idea what was going on because I wasn't even home. Wasn't gonna be home for quite a few days left. And yeah, I mean, Someone stole my car. How do you even react to that? So I had Heidi call the police. Of course, we had the runaround with them. They said, well, she can't call because she's not the owner. So I had to call and then hang up, then call back, then hang up, then call back, then hang up. So that was just a mess, of course. You know, nothing is ever easy. But we eventually got the report filed and like, maybe a couple hours later i got a phone call from the police in west terre haute and they said um do you know your car is parked in this alley i said no obviously i just reported it stolen they said well it's here and you need to come pick it up so obviously they weren't very helpful and then i told them well i'm not there blah 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 and then they're like okay well we'll get a tow truck to come get it i said that's fine whatever How, what's the condition they said well I don't know what color it's supposed to be but it's white and I said what do you mean it's white well obviously somebody decided to paint it this is actually in much better condition right now because I've already scraped most of the paint off but this is pretty much what they did to the whole entire car I scraped most of it off but it's in still just ugly. They smashed my windshield, got paint all in the car. They obviously weren't very good drivers because they hit the um, pole as they drove out and put a dent on the car. Part of it's spray paint, part of it is um, house paint so the house paint actually came off pretty well, but the spray paint is what's keeping most of this on, on top. So with older cars, it's obviously a lot easier to steal. All they did was brought a power tool, cut up my dash, and um, broke the ignition, and then you can start it pretty much. Um, there's a little bit more to it, but not gonna go into that. Anyways, so all they did was push the window out a little bit, unlocked the door and um, took it. They took it for a joyride, burnt the rest of the tires off, which there wasn't much anyways, and um, yeah, stole my radio, stole my subwoofer, you know, probably about a thousand dollars just gone. Not shocked. I wish they would have just stole the stuff and left the car alone, but you know, they can't just do something like that. So this happened last year, but I pretty much have not even touched the car since, just because there's not really much I can do right now. But this is pretty much what it was left with. Missing radio, 
destroyed the bracket that held the air conditioning system on. Um, yeah, it's just a mess. Paint on my seats, paint on my dash, pulled this thing off. So now that's all bent up, you know, pretty much just tore it up. But in reality, they didn't tear it up too much. All of this stuff is relatively easy to fix. It's just the fact that they had to do this. Um, obviously, it was out of spite because they didn't steal the car to try to sell it. They didn't chop nothing off, you know. They, tore, they stole it just to tear it up and then, you know, ditch it. And on the bright side, the car runs fine. They, you know, didn't pour water in the gas tank or nothing. They did run it empty and had a gas can in the car. You know, they had to apparently go and get gas and fill it up to ditch it because I left it, I, I leave it with pretty much no gas in it just because I don't drive it very often. I don't want the gas to get old and ruin the car. So all in all, it still runs, it's all fixable. It's just a huge pain and now a lot of money to throw at it just to get it back to, well, not looking like this. The plan is to fix it up and get it looking nice again. It needed a paint job anyways, but you know, I just really didn't want house paint and spray paint to be the way it got painted. So just frustrating, you know, just get a job, stop stealing people's stuff, quit being trash. I don't even know the neighbor's names. The mom was relatively nice, but the dad and all them crazy hoodlum kids. Yeah, they were all just freaking trash. So, shame on you guys. So as I said, the car really doesn't have anything mechanically wrong with it. Um, I drive it from time to time just to keep it going. I don't want it to just sit and battery die, then I don't want to buy a battery, blah, blah, blah. So drive it from time to time, get it warmed up, get the wheels turning. But it's just depressing. You know, this was my first car. You know, all my first memories of driving and everything was in this car. Um, yeah, so it's just depressing that it's in this shape right now. But it drives fine. I just have no radio to listen to.